The following is a fan-based parody. Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and Dragon Ball GT are all owned by Funimation, Toei Animation, Fuji TV, and Akira Toriyama. Please support the official release. <laughs> release. Alright, so South City is to the north, North City is to the west, and East City is... also to the north. Where the f*** am I? <laughs> Sir, I need to ask you to move off the road. We have a very important game today against the West City Southerners, and we're already running late. Aw, East City has a panda sanctuary. That's cute. I am now going to start applying the horn. I am now going to use it again. I will now continue to use the horn until you politely move. Now, I just need to find my brother and sister before- Hey, you giant green pylon! You ain't no casa! Get off the road! Else me and the boys are gonna have to make your face look like your ass! And your ass look like your face! <clears throat> hey, you! I want to make a joke about your team. What's its name? The East City Westmen! Oh, I am too hungry for this shit. <laughs> Pulling at your dad. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it! Oh, yeah, see? And now we have this. You, Namekian, too strong! Explain now! He fused with Kami so we could become stronger. The f's the Kami? Basically, God. But I'm still here! Do you really believe your own hype that much? I am the hype! Hey, finally found you guys. Just followed Vegeta screaming. What'd I miss? Piccolo fused with Kami. Oh, that finally came full circle. More importantly, there's a new threat. Another android created by Dr. Jiro. Do I hear five? Everyone, you have to come quickly! Aw, but we're about to drink our lima bean and lentil smoothies. Yeah, they taste like vomit, but they keep me regular. I'm like a soft serve ice cream machine in the morning. No time for those! Come upstairs! I'm coming! I'm coming! I came! Ah. Look! Look at Goku! Hmm... What a miracle we have witnessed. Allow me to go call the local news. I've had to deal with him screaming bloody murder for the last three hours. I'll take what I can get. I wonder what he's dreaming about. Yay! I'm Pirate Goku! Are you ready for an adventure, Sword Guy Piccolo? Uh, actually, I think you need to wake up. The androids Wait, are- Wait! Look! It's Ninja Goku! Hey, Pirate Goku! Let's go on an adventure! Yeah! Yay. Yeah. So yeah, that's basically it in a nutshell. You mean a nut cell? Shut, Shut up. up! So if Cell manages to find whatever he's missing, he'll become even stronger? I guess. He was pretty vague about it. No matter what, though, if he and the androids join forces, None of us will stand a chance. Says you! And here we go. I don't care how many people you fuse with, you'll never be as strong as a Super Saiyan! Not really much of a milestone anymore. As for me, I will find a level beyond a Super Saiyan! So what? Like a Mega Saiyan? Ultra Saiyan? You're mocking me. Maximum Over Saiyan. F*** off, Triclops! <laughs> Why do you antagonize him like that? You know he can kill you, right? At this point, it's a game. If he gives in, 
I win, and he knows that. Crazy thought. If that cell's from another timeline, then there's got to be one in this timeline, too. Pretty sure that emotional episode you had earlier leveled Jiro's lab. Well, he was a mad scientist. Shot in the dark, maybe he's got a basement? Ah, oh, crap baskets. Oh, you say that too. All right then. Trunks, you go back to Jiro's lab. I'm going after Cell. I'm going with Trunks to go after Cell. And I'm going with Piccolo to go after Cell. Break! So, now that I have the chance to say this, um, sorry my dad killed Chiaotzu. And you made it awkward. Hey there, Cherry. What's your name? My name is Nicky Town. Who are you? Name Cell. <laughs> and you are looking fine. Well, thank you, Mr. Cell, but you're just saying that. Oh, I don't say that to every town I come across. Mr. Cell, please absolve me. Oh, don't worry. I'll get around to it. But I need you right now, Mr. Cell. Okay, 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 I'm in the middle of something right now. No, right now, Mr. Cell, right now. Bitch, I do what I want. Oh my god, was it always this cold? We were here at noon, it was not this cold! Well, if you need to warm up, start looking. You know, I sometimes complain about our lifestyle, but honestly, shooting lasers is fun. Are you making laser noises? All the time in my head. Why, is that weird? Hey, there it is! Well, we can't climb down that, it's broken. Just come on. Whee! Whee! I need to ask you a favor. What's that? If we find any more androids down here, please don't tell my father. I swear on my life. Unless he threatens my life. In which case... Wow, Danger Will Robinson. Who's Will Robinson? The future is no fun. It's really not. Huh? Hey, so, if I were a gambling man... Huh? Oh my god! It's adorable! Well, time to waste it! No, wait! Aww! These... These are the schematics for the androids! We can use these to find a way to turn them off! Don't ask how to turn them on! Don't ask how to turn her on! Don't ask how to turn Android 18 on! How do you turn Android 17 on? Shit! Also, it lists their real names. Lapis and Lazuli. And apparently, Android 16 was modeled after Jero's son. Are you making that up? It sounds like you're making that up. No, it's all here, really. Well, okay. Grab those and let's kill Cell! Hold on, I I've been thinking. Technically, it's never done anything wrong. So, doesn't it have the right to life? This isn't about a right to life. It's about making a choice. A choice we both need to make. A choice between a terrible mistake that can ruin lives and f***ing I'm dropping the pretenses, we're a boarding cell. Oh yeah! Alright, let's get out of here before this place comes down on our heads. Sorry, just a little caught up in gloating. I killed Cell! Hasta la vista, baby! Probably should have backed up first. <laughs> that was fun! We should hang out more! Nothing but clothes with stab marks. Cell's calling card. Ah, damn it, he killed my star battle back. My entire fantasy team just went straight to hell. Are you serious? What? I have hobbies. <laughs> no, you don't. Hey there, Nikki Town. This is your local station, 98.5, The Nick, where TJ and the Wombat. Wombat! Wombat! Me so horny. What's the weather looking like out there, Wombat? Wombat weather forecast! It's raining back! We're in the middle of an impossible heat wave, a balmy 104 degrees, so make sure you stay hydrated. Real hydrated! <laughs> And in local sports news, many of our listeners are still waiting at the stadium for the East City Westmen, who are becoming increasingly late to the game. Probably in some traffic on the turnpike. Or maybe they're just scared. Oh, looks like we got our first call-in of the segment. 
Hello there, Keller. What can TJ and the Wombat do for you? Hello there, I. <laughs> uh, okay, hold on, hold on. Ah, uh, uh, there. Okay. Could you play Video Kill the Radio Star? Wow. Uh, we usually only do the top 20. But today, we'll make an exception for you, Killer. Oh, shucks. Thanks, fellas. I'll be right in. Right? What do you say? Oh, God. Oh, God. What is that thing? No! No, get away! Get away from Walter! No! Put him down! Get him away! I love you so much! Hey, welcome back to 98.5 The Cell. We have another caller making a request. Please don't kill me! Sorry, that's not in the lineup. <laughs> Speaking of the lineup, in the next half hour, we've got Hungry Like the Wolf by Duran Duran, Killing Me Softly with his song by Lauren Hill, followed by All By Myself. Now don't touch that dial.